Some projects you should just leave to the professionals. Agreed. A Pittsburgh man is reminded of that hard-learned lesson every night at exactly 10 minutes to 7. <laughs> That's what he hears. 13 years ago, Jerry Lynn dropped an alarm clock behind his living room wall. He says he set the alarm on the clock, then lowered it into a vet to help him figure out where to punch a hole for a TV hookup. As I was laying it down, all of a sudden I heard it go thunk as it came loose. And, well, that's not a real problem. Maybe three, four months, it'll run out of battery. That was in September of 2004. <laughs> it is still going off every day. He has more patience than I do. Jerry and his wife, Sylvia, still holding out hope that the clock's seemingly immortal battery will soon die. Here's hoping. That's never going to die. It's, it's just going to keep going. Murphy's Law. <laughs> CBS This Morning.